Okay, so control and to open a new document, and then we are going to use a document size, or you go to this print, and then you look for this special size or add an illustration, then pick 2000 by 2000 or 1000 by 1000, but perfectly we are going to use 2000 by 2000 resolution 300 pixel per inch RGB color mode. Then you type the name, you type the name. I've typed everything over here in order not to waste too much time. I've typed everything over here. So I just copy it and come and paste it. There. Defender Church Flyer, as I said. 2000 by 2000 resolution 300 RGB color mode and then click on create so you have a nice interface like this yes you have nice interface like this and I've already told you in most of my previous tutorials that graphic design covers four key areas one working with the background two working with image three working with text or fonts and then the fourth one is what adding beauty to the design so we are going to start with the first one which is working on the background so I have these two beautiful backgrounds i drag the first one in photoshop and then release it and wait for it to load it's downloading so click, click enter and then that's okay i'll go to view sorry view sorry uh, i'll go to filter go to blur and then gaussian blur and then blur it like 20 pixels all right 20 pixels is okay let me see 30 30 pixels is okay awesome so i click on enter and then it check like that so i'm going to pick the second background again which is this i'll drag it and then drop it in photoshop and then blend it together i'll add a layer mask go to this side add layer mask click inside the thumbnail click b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool if your brush tool is not showing like this then it means your your caps lock is on so put the caps lock off and then use bracket open to scale the brush size we are using a soft round brush so go to this brush settings or go to this side and pick a soft one brush you can get it in the general yes you can get the soft one brush inside the general and then pick a soft one brown brush like this and then still reduce the size a bit and then brush this side brush this side the edges brush the edges nicely like this and guys that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome so i'll push this above a bit and this is nicely 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 so all this and this in one group control g and then i'll call it the background yes i'll double click here and call it background all right then click on enter okay so all the background is set nicely then the next thing is that you are going to work with what maybe some of the text so i'll drag this logo church logo nicely and then i push it up better like this and then this church logo we had is from set k bunny set k bunny or kingdom solutions yes you can check him up and uh, we had it from his side so let's give shout out to set k bunny my boss control j to duplicate it or uh, control j to uh, cut it and then double click the side and then change the color to color white yeah and then put it in a group control control j and then call it what the logo all right all right all right all right so the logo is done you are going to pick our details again so drag the 3d text effect i'll share the 3d text effect with you so that you can create it if you want to create it from the scratch i'll share it with you but this one i've created already so i'll just copy these images and then drag them below as you are seeing guys i'll just press enter 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 to check them now this one you need to remove the background because the background is still on so right click it and then rasterize type click on w2 sorry w2 and then all right so team is set so teams is what the 3d text effect and then this and that let's control j to put it in a group and call it what names and images and uh, images are awesome awesome you see we are just putting them in a folder now let's go to view go to guide and then new guy layout and set our guides so here set here to six and set here to five then click on ok so we make sure that everything that we are designing is in a group or we have what putting them appropriately yeah i'm putting them in appropriately now it left with the names so i have the names I've typed them here. So the first one is I'll copy the width, Ctrl C, 
to copy it and then come and hit here T and then hit here and then you paste it over there control V to paste it so the weight I use a font called taken by vultures I used a font called taken by vultures so I'll go to my character side and then go and pick taken by vultures I'm sure it's here okay this is it so taken by vultures for the width all right so that is set and then I'll push it somewhere this side and then I'll go and pick the next details again which is Esther Smith control C to copy it and then I'll duplicate this test using alt and then drag it this way double click it and then control V to paste it and I use another font which is this Antilles yes Antilles font so I'll reduce the size to 10 and then close this leading to somewhere 10 and see which is awesome I'll change this side to color white yes let me change this side to color white and then push now I think the width is too big so let's reduce the size a bit so I'll go to the character and then set it to somewhere 50 yes guys always experiment I think 52 is too much so let's see 40 and see 42 but well it's okay for the purpose of the tutorial not to be too long you can just reduce the size to any size you want and then this is awesome this is awesome i'll just duplicate it i'll drag it and brought it here and then i'll duplicate it again and bring it here and then that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome i'll just push it here small a bit yes to signify so this name goes to this one this name goes to this and this name goes to this so you realize now the names and the images has been arranged nicely let me put it in a group again so no nah, no nah, nah. okay okay so this one becomes names all right so names and then let's clear this side to call it only images yes so this and this put in a group and call it names and images names and uh, images all right so you see if you open names and images folder you get everything now i pick a rectangle too and then drill a nice rectangle beneath this way nice rectangle beneath this way and then we use this for a uh, size we use this hex code which is closer to this colors a bit yes that is what we use Control a to center it Control a to center it Control d to deselect it then it means it's covering this name so we need to clear it this side and then we are going to type the next details that is what the time control c and then t on the keyboard hit anywhere control v to paste it and let's use a font called balega balega guys my love for this font is always getting great and great or bigger and bigger every day yeah so let's close the lead into somewhere 10 and see boom 10 is too much that's closed so let's open it up and let's see i think 18 is okay push it to the side and the size 2 is too big so let's change it to somewhere 10 or 15 is 15 okay then it means the leading must be closed a bit awesome 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 this then drag it to the side and then you go and copy the next detail which is what 14 to then select only the 6 pm select only the 6 pm control me to paste it and then clear it and then go and select the september control c to copy it and then come and copy the se select only the 6 7 30 pm and then paste it over there all right so you see we are just doing the exact design and then you copy this details control c to copy it and then drag this side here drag this side here and then paste it control v to paste it and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome let's adjust them well let's adjust them well let's adjust them well so we are going to pick this side all caps for it and then this side to all caps for it i'm going to pick the date to 
all caps so set them to all caps and that is it that is it that is it that is it let's select all and then control t to reduce the size yeah let's reduce the size to fit inside the space yeah to fit inside the space we have created so awesome 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 and i think everything is in line everything is in line everything is in line so we select this and then come and select this control g and then call it what details yes details call them details and then that is it i think that is it that is it that is it basically that is it now when you are done we are not done yet we are adding the beauty because i said it covers four strong key areas so three of the key areas has been occupied or has been successfully worked on so it left it the beautification control alt shift and e on your keyboard if you are using windows so right click it now after doing that you see that it has met everything in one layer so right click it and then convert to smart object and go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's add beauty or let's boost the whole design up let's boost it up let's boost it up please, please as the camera raw filter is loading please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you we have been doing great we have been sharing pre-PSD files and we have been designing as well step by step tutorial we have photoshop the uh, graphic design course for beginners if you have somebody whom uh, who may be the person who wants to learn photoshop recommend this channel to that person and then trust me after going through the photoshop graphic design course part one and two and after practicing some of the basic basic things on this channel that person will become a great graphic designer because we share all the resources files in which we use for our design we share them we share it for free just after watching the tutorials and you want to practice and send it to our social media handles they are all active practice them and then let's interact on my social media handles so guys the camera roll photo is ready so let's go the boost here and then i think i'm getting it already so boost here a bit and then i think this is this is not bad so i'll go to highlight boost here a bit go to black and then reduce the black a bit or maybe the black should be okay now texture boost it a bit clarity let's see let's keep boosting and see i think this is okay now you go to uh, vibrance and then let's see if it's okay guys everything is in your your possession so keep boosting till you get the nice edifice or the nice thing you want to so look at the before and after and realize that the after look great the after look great because of the camera raw filter the camera raw filter has what beautified the whole design so if you keep boosting and you get what you want come and click on okay here and then it will be applied on the whole design so it's applied and this is it so basically we have covered all the four key areas that is working with the background to working with the uh, images three working with text and then what adding beauty so we have covered the four key areas so please subscribe to this channel like comment and share and let me know your comment and thoughts on this particular design and then a lot of designs that we have on our channel please watch them practice it and then submit it and let's discuss it i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial until then bye peace i'm out